Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending you all love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Virgo and it will not resonate with every Virgo cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Virgo or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading from me, email me. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. All right, guys. Virgo. What's going on with my Virgo collective? We have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Four of Swords. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You guys are trying to heal or something. Be patient with something. Be patient about something. Heal from something. Find more balance in your life. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Moon. Pisces energy, and we have the sun, Leo energy. Mm. You guys are maybe going to find out something that was hidden from you. Or you guys did find out something that was hidden from you. Strength, Leo energy on the back of the deck, deck again. Strength to what? Six of Pentacles, the world. You guys were giving to a situation, but whatever you guys are finding out, about a certain situation is giving you the strength to stop giving to a certain situation here. Stop trying to work on building like some type of stable relationship, a, a home, a family with a certain person. You guys may have found out that somebody had another person or they were trying to choose between you and another person. So it's like finally making you give up on trying to make something work with somebody here. Whatever it is that you're about to find out is going to make you finally stop giving to a certain situation or person. That's what I'm seeing here. Tell me about temperance. You guys are having to heal because I see that you guys have like maybe some abandonment issues or you have a fear of people ghosting you, leaving you. Um, because this is what people have done to you in the past. But Spirit says you have to let go of that as you heal, you, you know, or yeah, as you heal, you will, you will let go of that way of thinking or something along the lines of that. Or you really do need to take the time to heal so that you can stop. Assuming that every person that you end up, that you encounter is going to abandon you or leave you, ghost you. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. I don't know, if, did I say the King of Pentacles earlier? It's the Knight, the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Somebody's coming towards you trying to offer you some type of stability because now they have regrets. But you don't trust this person, I feel like, because this person maybe has ghosted you or abandoned you in the past. This person, somebody's afraid of losing you. Tell me more. Palm tree. Yes, yeah, somebody's wanting to offer you something stable now. Tell me about the seven of swords. What's this having a towards those to it? Date. What's this mean for my Virgos? Wicked. Yeah, it's like some it's like almost like somebody tried to like have a second chance with you when they were still maybe trying to like also have like a they were trying to have like a new start with you while they were still dating other people or that this person was trying to portray themselves 
It's like they wanted to offer you something stable. They were going to come correct. But what you didn't know was that this person was still dating other people. But I feel like you found out about this, that they were still holding on to somebody else. They were hiding that they were dating. They either had one other person or they were just date, keeping their options open. They had multiple options. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. What's this mean for my Virgos Twin Flames? What's this mean for this person? Expectations. What about expectations? Heartbroken. I feel like I feel like for a lot of you guys, you were dealing with possibly a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. You thought this was your person. You thought that it's like you expected that going into this relationship, that there would be healthy and open communication, that this person would give you their time. Um, you wanted to be on the same page as this person, but Sarah says you needed, like you and this person didn't want, like, you ended up getting your heart broken because you realized that this person didn't want the same things as you, or they just were not on the same wavelength as you. Who you wanted them and needed them to be was who they couldn't be, or they just were unwilling to be that person for you. So you're kind of like mourning the loss of what you thought this relationship could be or something here. It's like you guys are fine. It's like whatever you're finding out about this person is giving you that closure or that clarity that you need to finally let, let go of a situation or a person. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and like set a boundary here. The guarded heart. Definitely see that you guys have some lingering tr trust issues that are like kind of like keeping you a little bit cl cold and closed off here. So here I want you to know that if you do want to manifest love, you're going to have to be able to let your guard down. And to be able to do that, you're going to have to forgive yourself, um, let go of this, this situation or whatever the situation where somebody did betrayed you, um, let go of those abandonment issues. Definitely a need to heal here. What's this mean for my Virgos? Yeah, Spirit's saying you need to shift the way you think. Shift your perspective here. The Spirit wants to bring in some type of... They want to bring in this team awesome for you. This relationship that you desire. But the Spirit says you have to let them... Like, you have to open yourself up to receiving it. Some of you guys have a hard time with change. or It's like you guys are having a hard time adapting to maybe life without this person or something here what is skater girl i feel like you guys have been like kind of just going about your life feeling like you didn't really need to be vulnerable or show your true feelings or that's how you've been living your life but i feel like spirit is saying that like Maybe you guys are really realizing that you need to heal, take some time for yourself so that you can make room for what it is that you want to. It's like you guys are kind of coming to the to the conclusion here or that you, this is what Syria is trying to show you, that you are kind of blocking whatever it is that you want from coming in. Being in a relationship with somebody, you're going to have to be vulnerable with that person, you know, um, open up to them emotionally. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, it's like there was something that you didn't know. There was something hidden from you another person like a third party what is this mingle i feel like it was that this person that you were dealing with was still talking to and trying to meet people while they were also trying to say that they wanted to offer you commitment and stability tell me more about this leveling up what's this mean for virgo girl with popcorn like somebody could have maybe even came back and told you that they they had changed But then you realize that this person was just. What's this girl with popcorn? Yeah, they were they were acting out of selfish intentions. They wanted something out of you. It's like this person trick. You feel like this person tricked you. You thought this person was finally like they were finally going to come correct. You thought you were finally getting your wish fulfillment. Your manifestation had to come in regards to what you wanted to happen between you and this person. And then you realize that 
that wasn't the case that this person was still selfish they were just love bombing you it was still a one-sided relationship you guys kind of feel like this person fooled you or this is spirit warning you that this person is going to come back and they will have not changed Tell about the four of swords realize your life spirit says you really do need to take some time for yourself and to and to really heal and know your worth you have to be healed to attract healed because yeah i feel like you guys are kind of like codependent on this person or just kind of a little bit stuck on them they have some type of control over you or like you just feel attached to this person and you're maybe having a hard time breaking that attachment or um that pull towards them but this person's blocking you from some type of new it's blocking your manifestations it's blocking you from a new um beginning here or some type something new coming in for you so tell me about the sun and maybe you guys are coming to the conclusion about this you guys are really seeing this now tell me about nervous what's the name for my virgos trigger What does Shy have to do with Virgo? Hmm. Who, what is this nervous to ask energy? What's this mean for Virgo? Is this them? Somebody is, is afraid to approach you here. They're a little bit nervous to, to, to con, they want to talk to you or return to you. Somebody's trying to return to you here, but they're afraid to come towards you. This person's afraid of how you will react to them. Tell me about meditate. Yeah, somebody has something that they want to say to you, but they're afraid to approach you. What does this mean for Virgo? This is something that you guys have been wanting to come in. This is something you've been trying to manifest. What? Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Taking This is somebody possibly that you've been taking a break from coming back around. They're afraid to reach out to you. They have something that they want to say to you. Is this this, this person? Is this this past person? Hold on. This card's flipped. What does this have to do with this past person? Yeah, this person sees you. You still kind of see this past person or they either see you as an ideal person that somebody mirrors material or you're still seeing this person despite what they've done. You're still seeing them this way. So is it them that they're going to end up having this happiness that they're trying to manifest? You guys have maybe just been still trying to manifest for this person to get it together so that they can be what you've always wanted them to be. To, to see your worth. To choose you. I do see them trying to come back and make things right with you. Can they trust this though? Because I mean this person is already... We have... Sudden, we have sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, and relational abuse, though. What's this mean for this person coming back? Friendship. Spirit says, notice the red flags. This is kind of similar to Gemini's reading. I feel like somebody's coming back. They may say that they've changed, that they miss you. They are afraid to approach you. But there's definitely going to be some obvious red flags with this person. And Spirit says not to ignore them. Um, I do see that maybe you may end up just being friends with this person. Or they may end up getting friend zoned or something here. Tell me more about friendship. Baggage. Yeah, because you just feel like this person has just too much baggage. It's things that they need to release that they're refusing to let go of. They have some healing and work that they need to do on themselves. Or this person just has hurt you too much. You don't feel like you can be in a romantic relationship with them. All right, let's see here. Like too much has happened between the two of you and you just don't feel like you can be in a romantic relationship with them. Tell me more. We have twin flames. So yeah, this definitely could be your twin. I think that already came out. If there was any doubt, they are your twin flame and they're ready for union. The wait is over. Yeah, so they're going to have a realization about you that they want to have a future with you. This could happen within a few weeks time. But how are my Virgos going to feel about this? So this person's haunted by what they did to you. Missing you. Are my Virgos going to accept this offer or accept this person back? 
No, look at this, guys. We have last test. Still the same person. So Spirit says they will have not changed. They just miss you. They, they do see your word. They're haunted by what they did to you. But Spirit says they're still the same person. Nothing has changed. But have you learned your lesson? So this is a test from the divine to see if you have grown and you have really... Um, yeah, if you have grown and if you see the truth of this person and the able to identify the truth of this person in the situation. Yeah, they're going to come in and try to test the waters here with you, but I feel like you guys are not going to fall for it this mind this mind this time. This person's still devoid of light when they come towards you, not in a good place emotionally right now, heartbreak or depression. They need to work on themselves. So I feel like you're going to end up maybe rejecting this person or friend zoning them. Let's get you some advice. I feel like this person wants to come in and see if they can use the same tactics that they used on you before. But I feel like this time it's not going to work. It happens once in a lifetime, a divine meeting with your twin flame, twin flame journey. So yeah, this could be somebody, this could be your twin and you and this person are going through runner chaser dynamic, but it says you are not a rehab. Let them fix their own problems. You can't fix it. Maybe for a while you guys thought that you, this part, you could change this person or that you could fix them but Sirius is saying you cannot fix them they have to do that for themselves it says you are not hard to love but you just haven't found the one who knows how to love you have faith and it says they never changed it's their mask that fell off seeing the truth so yeah you're seeing the truth of this person don't judge their choices if you don't understand their reasons not what it seems so Sarah is saying that like, you know, maybe there's some things going on that you're not aware of or you just can't or unable to fully understand why this person is the way that they are or why they've done the things that they've done. Besides, you know, that's one aspect there, you know, maybe you don't understand them. Maybe there's things that you just can't understand about their life and what they've been through and why they are the way that they are. But Spirit is saying that you need to look at the situation realistically. You do not have to settle. Just because this person's been through it and they have healing, they have to heal just like you have to heal. They've been through hard stuff just like you've been through hard stuff. It's the way that we handle those things. If this person's projecting all their trauma and all their issues onto you and refusing to heal, you deserve much better than that. You know what I mean? But I feel like maybe for a long time, you guys were looking at this person through rose-colored glasses. And now you guys are seeing the truth of them. So now they're going to come back trying to test the waters with you using those same tactics that they did before. And But the difference is that you guys are seeing this person clearly now. So it's not going to work this time. Is what I'm seeing here. All right, guys. So I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Um, what was I going to say? If you're interested in a personal reading, email me. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your um, day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.